So now we have the basic shape of the uh, lid. We have the basic shape of the wall mount itself. So let's uh, look at refining the designs a bit. So we'll go back to the wall mount now. We'll look at uh, the edges here. So first of all, these 45 degree edges inside the, that are going inside the lid, I think we'll have to we'll have to round them a bit. So we're going to do a fillet. We are not talking really large dimensions here, so let's try a 0 0.5 radius uh, for this one. And we'll choose this edge, and then this edge. And as you can see, 0 0.5, that almost looked a bit much. So we'll do a 0 0.3 instead on this one. We'll try that out for size. Yeah, 0 0.3 looked pretty well. So we'll keep that one. 0 0.3 fill it there on that sharp edge. Uh, and we'll do a, um, a similar fillet on uh, the lid here. We have to, um, to sort of uh, Uh, sort of uh, do the fillet here, and we'll do a 0 0.2 fillet instead to give them uh, enough space that they won't hit each other. Now I need to like hit the correct view here. So if I do like this, that was the wrong tilt. A bit up that way. So we'll do it with um, hidden lines on. Maybe I'll hit them then. Yeah, that was a bit better. So we'll do this one and this one at 0 0.2. That should look well when we put them together. Or am I thinking the wrong way around now? I should have had... Uh... I think that should work. Well, actually, we'll just put them in the assembly right away, and we'll see how it looks. So we'll uh, insert the wall mount. See if we can... Uh... We'll just fix it there. <clears throat> and we'll put the lid in also. Oops, that was me uh, pushing the wrong button. I put, took the X instead of the green mark. So then I removed everything I done. There. Now we have them in place. Let's see here if we can uh, get the mating done correctly here. I haven't tried this much myself yet. So we have we have a fasten mate, a, revol a revolute mate, a slider mate, planar mate, cylindrical mate, pin slot mate, ball mate, tangent mate, grouping, snap modes. We have gear relations, rack and pinion, screw relation, linear relation. So let's do a uh, a uh, planar mate first. So we'll do this plane against this plane. It's the wrong way around. Let's see if we can switch the direction like that. Yeah, that worked. So now we have this mate working, and I can still pull them apart a bit. So we'll look at. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, if we can get this one to be fixed here in some sort of way. Fix it. Yeah. Then I can't uh, pull the wall mount around. I can only pull the lid. <clears throat> so now we'll do another uh, planar mate just to uh, test it out a bit. So we're going to do. See if we can uh, 
move a bit out here. We'll do this plane against that plane. Put this one in. And we'll also do this plane against that plane. Put it in there. And now they're in place. So we'll look at the bottom here. As you can see, this works well with the uh, with the fillets we have here. There is no no collision between between the two two edges here, so that works well. We'll do the same down here. So we'll have to have a zero point two on the wall mount and a zero point three on the lid. So we'll go to the lid here. We'll do fillets. This time it has to be a 0 0.3 on the lid. This edge and this edge. Put this one into place. Then we'll do the same on the wall mount. So I think I'm going to put up the hidden edges here too. And we'll do and fill it 0 0.2 in this case this edge and on that edge 0 0.2 so just to be on the safe side we go back to the assembly and we check yeah that looks good in the assembly so we'll go back to the wall mount and we'll look a bit <coughs> at the rest of the edges uh, we'll do a um, we'll just do a chamfering uh, a 0 0.1 chamfering on this edge and on this edge. Preview that sort of uh, spooked me, but uh, 0 0.1 looks a lot better like that. Uh, we'll do the same on the lid here, on the outer edge. So we'll do a chamfering, the 0 0.1 millimeters. Put it on this edge and on that edge. And we'll look at the assembly just to see how it looks. I will have to flip it a bit. So wanna look at the edge here. That looks nice. We don't get a, a sharp 90 degree corner there when we do this. So I'm going to do the same on uh, on the entire edge here, along the line there. So instead of doing another chamfer, I'll just do this chamfer. We'll uh, edit it and we'll add this, this one, and this one. Let's zoom in and see if it's doing it for the entire stretch here. It look, the preview looks like it's doing it for the entire stretch, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to mark them all so that we're sure here. Like that. Then we'll do the same on the lid. So basically do that on both, uh, both the edges of the lid. We'll uh, do this chamfer. I'm just going to try here on the lid and just do one, one of them. Let's see if it does. Yeah, it does the entire thing. And that's probably because of the fillets, because the fillet makes this a continuous line. Although it's dividing it up in the radii, uh, it's also letting the chamfer work as a continuous line across the entire entire piece. <clears throat> If we if we had kept the sharp edges instead of filleting them first, it uh, I would have probably had to choose each edge, like I did for the uh, wall mount. So let's look at the assembly. Yeah, this looks good. Remember that we are we are zooming very much in here, so uh, what we are seeing is uh, very small. It's just enough to when you're putting your fingers across it, it won't feel like such a sharp edge. So we would like uh, we would like to round some edges more, just to make it look a bit 
uh, nicer. Especially here on the wall mount, we can put in, uh, before we start rounding anything else, we can at least do for the uh, bottom part here, what's going to be against uh, the wall once it's mounted. We'll uh, add some more chamfers here all the way around. So we'll do this one, this one, this one, and this one. Like that. We have the chamfers all the way around. Now we'll uh, test uh, how it will work putting in fillets on the on the side here. So let us say, for an example, a 1.5 fillet on this edge. How will that look? 1.5. I think that looks fairly well. Try here too. Ah, so here we here we uh, ended up with a short, small problem with the chamfering edge we have put up. So if I guess correctly here, I will be able to move this fillet up here. Yeah, that fixed the entire problem. Because like in Inventor, it's uh, it's the sequence of the of the geometry features here. So that's. Once you get the sequence right, everything follows. We'll do the same 1.5 on the lid. The only problem with the lid is by doing 1.5 there, we're sort of sort of excluding it from uh, from uh, being uh, being able to using it both ways. But we have to do that anyway because I'm going to put in uh, some extra features along uh, this edge just to stop it from sliding off. So we're going in here. We'll do a fillet. One point five millimeters Just on this edge and on that edge. Put it in there, and again we have to move it above the chamfer. Let's hope we did the right edges now. Uh, for the assembly, <laughs> we had we have the wrong edges, so I think it's actually uh, I could either move around on the on the uh, assembly or I could just change the edges here. So I'm not uh, not sure which is uh, the quickest, but I'm going to just change here. So. Probably would have been just turning the entire lid around. So now we can see. Yeah, that looks quite nice. We get a nice rounded edge there. <clears throat> so the top of the lid looks a bit looks a bit uh, square, basically. So let's do something about that. So we're going back to the lid here. I'm going to uh, turn it around. Let's put in another fillet. Maybe we should actually just use the the one point five one here. Let's see what it says. So to this edge, this edge, and this edge. Let's check the assembly. I think that looks looks pretty well. Now I'm going to add also the the 0 0.1 chamfer on the inner edge of the lid. So we're going to do uh, this chamfer. Double click it so that I can uh, fix it here. I'm doing this one here, and let's just. Switch around a bit, we see, yeah, now we have all the way around. That works well. Putting this one in. Go back to the assembly. It's actually so small you can almost can't see it here. And that's perfect. 